Hello and welcome to Broad Yule. Today we'll be taking a look at settlements expanded. Skyrim is filled with dozens of settlements, including a variety of mills, farms, mines or just smaller villages. However, many of them fall into a very generic category, where once you've seen one, you've essentially seen them all. Bethesda only had so much time to make the game, so this type of problem is to be expected. It's also the perfect opportunity for a mod to swoop in and save the day, and so we have the Settlements Expanded mod. As of right now it builds upon 6 of the vanilla settlements and even adds an entirely new one to the game. The author has focused on areas he felt were either too small or generic, those types of settlements that you could just run through without really missing anything. The mod fleshes them out by adding new buildings, NPCs, decorations and other bits and pieces. It also does it in a way to give them their own unique purpose and edge. For example, the Loria's farm in vanilla might as well only exist for the sake of giving Cicero a place to break down. But now the farm is part of a bigger trading settlement that acts as a halfway hub between the North and White Run. In the hopes of grabbing the attention of traders and travellers, there are a few new buildings along the main road. These include a new blacksmith, a food vendor with a stall, and homes for a couple of new farmers. The mod does a great job in seamlessly expanding on the settlements. The new NPCs all come with realistic daily schedules and play a clear defined role at the settlement whether they're a vendor, a farmer, or just a playing child. The NPCs will also interact with any new objects, and the mod places dozens of item markers for more variety in how the NPCs spend their resting time. The mod also takes lighting and guard patrol paths into account, so the expanded areas will be lit and patrolled as if they were part of the vanilla game. Even minor tweaks to pieces of rubble and the surrounding plant life help shape the area as a whole. And then to top it all off, any vanilla quests at the settlements will work as they always did. The other settlements affected by the mud include the Serethi Farm, Hearthwood Mill, Kolskiga Mine, Solion's Sinkhole and the Whistling Mine. And again, all of these settlements were built up to give them more of an identity. The Serethi Farm now acts as a more important outpost in the Rift, with an expanded guard presence in a nearby abandoned watchtower. And the Whistling Mine finally has a blacksmith to forge all of the iron ore coming out of the mine. The biggest addition of the mud is the new settlement, going by the name of the Coldstone Mine. It's located on the edge of the Winterhold Hold, on the border of the Pale and high in the Frozen Mountains. The people there are hardworking and are used to surviving in the harsh conditions that surround them. As its name suggests, the settlement was built for the sake of mining, but now it's also the home to a family on top of several working miners. Its mine is fully stocked with 21 veins of ebony ore that you can get your hands on, and there's also plenty of loot for you to plunder if you're willing to fight through the residents, as well as the two Winterhold guards that patrol there. Just like the other expanded settlements, the NPCs all have their own schedules, which makes the mine feel like a hustling, bustling workplace, and not just a place where NPCs hang out. The best spot in the settlement is the multi-level watchtower, where you can either take a quick nap or simply stand and admire the view. Altogether, the mud pumps some much needed life into several of the more generic settlements around Skyrim. We also really like the addition of Coldstone Mine and hopefully it's the first of many new settlements to come. We're always fond of these types of mods that help keep exploration fresh even all these years on. If you like them too, then you might also want to check out Arthmore's collection of settlement expansions. The author of Settlements Expanded even recommends you install his Solion Sinkhole and Whistling Mine expansions, which are not only fully compatible, but even designed to work together. Arthmore also has around a dozen other single expansion mods, so be sure to check those out too. Just before we wrap up today's spotlight, we'd like to thank the Opinion Outpost for sponsoring this episode. The Opinion Outpost is a great way to earn some extra cash or rewards just by sharing your opinion. Whatever you're a fan of, whether it's food, TV, movies or politics, you can share your opinion in some surveys and then convert that into rewards. It's extremely simple and you can start out right now by clicking the link in the description below. And that's the end of today's spotlight. As always, be sure to leave endorsements on any mod you enjoy and thanks for watching.